Hey guys, it's your boy, Nasboy2019 here, and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys a race review on the 2024 NASCAR Xfinity Series Spring Race at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway that just took place today on March 4th, excuse me, March 2nd, 2024. And, um, it was a very fun and eventful race, and, um, it was called La Luna. And then we'll dive into the, um, race name in a minute, because that's actually kind of controversial of a topic I wanted to touch on. But, um, I don't have too much else for the intro. Um, I'm excited for this video. It's my second race review of the week. Last night we did a NASCAR Truck Series race review where Roger Carruff got his first NASCAR Truck Series victory ever. And, um, tonight, um, finishing the evening time, um, we are going to give you guys a race review on what happened in the Xfinity race and who won a full race review and everything else. Oh, let's get it straight into it. But I wanted to touch on the race name as I thought this was kind of, kind of controversial. It was called La Luna. It didn't have like 300 next to it because it was 300 miles. It was 200 lap, 300 mile race today. It wasn't called the La Luna 300. It was just called La Luna. That got me a bit confused. I was like, um, how many miles is it? Like, it's not really an attractive race name because like you don't really know the fans isn't at least given how many laps they're going to run or not given how many miles this race is or how many kilometers this race is going to be. And that's what most races are. Like the North Wilkesburg, like the Tyson Holly Farms 400, the last points race name. Um, 1996 fall race in North Wilkesboro. That was the race name to the final current points race in North Wilkesboro. 400 laps. Symbolizes 400. Um, Food City 500 resembles, resembles 500 laps at Bristol for the spring race during the day on concrete, returning this year on March 17th. Um, so it was a bit interesting. It didn't really have um, a race. It didn't have like a how many laps or how many miles they were going to run. It just called the Layuna. And I said this on my community page. I feel like that would have been a great race name if the NASCAR Xfinity Series went to the dirt track today. If they went to the Las Vegas Motor Speedway dirt track um, just west or just east of the Speedway. It's a part of, it's a facility of the Las Vegas Motor Speedway along with the Las Vegas Motor Speedway Bullring. Um, free facilities. The one and a half mile of Las Vegas that the NASCAR top three series races at um, k and N, I believe, and ARCA have raced at the Bullring and um, the dirt track in the past, if I'm not mistaken. So um, it's free big facilities that NASCAR is known to at that Las Vegas Motor Speedway, but they're mainly known for the one and a half mile oval they use every year. For one or two races in each top three series. Because on the truck series has one race. And the other series have two races. So it's been interesting. I feel like if the NASCAR Xfinity series. Had their Las Vegas Motor Spring, most, Las Vegas Motor Speedway spring race. Um, race at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway dirt track. And now it's been pretty cool. It's, many Xfinity drivers have said that they want the NASCAR Xfinity series to run on dirt. Because that's actually never happened. The Xfinity has never raced on dirt before. It would be a great opportunity for the NASCAR Xfinity Series to race at the dirt track. It would be cool. Maybe they can do it at Charlotte or Texas. Uh, SMI owns both of those. Um, at Charlotte Motor Speedway and the Texas Motor Speedway dirt track. There are a couple other dirt tracks that the Xfinity Series can race at. Loxbow Raceway has been talked about. Eldora could work, I feel like. Um, we could save that topic for another video. But um, it's just kind of an interesting of a race name. But I guess we can get on... So the race review of the 2024 NASCAR Xfinity Series Spring Race at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Cole Custer and Chandler Smith set the front row here for a 200 lap, 300 mile race at Las Vegas. Stage 1 was going to have 45 laps. Stage 2 was also going to have 45 laps. And the final stage would be 110 laps to decide the winner. But before you know it, the green flag flew at Las Vegas and AJ Allmendinger had a run, and he made it free wide for the lead on the first corner of the first lap. And um, Chandler Smith runs Custer wide into the corner. Cole Custer is on the dirty part of the track, and Chandler Smith takes the lead. On lap 8, Parker Retzlaff gets sideways, and he collects Sam Mayer for our first um, incident caution for incident today at Las Vegas. Two-car tangle between Parker Retzlaff and Sam Mayer. Um, green flag flew once again with Chandler Smith being clear into turn number one as they formed free wide for second place. And then on lap 30, Shane Magnusberg in, the international rookie this year in the NASCAR Xfinity Series, headed to the pit lane under green with an overheating issue. But after that, it was pretty much green as Chandler Smith had dominated stage one, and Chandler Smith won stage number one at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. 
Chandler Smith got first. John and Nemechek in second. Austin Hill in third. Riley Herbst in fourth. Cole Custer in fifth. AJ Allmendinger in sixth. Justin Allgaier in seventh. Parker Kligerman in eighth. Ryan Segan in ninth. And Brandon Jones rounding out the top ten in stage one. Stage two was the 45 lap from lap 46 to lap 90 out of 200. Chandler Smith led the field down to the pit lane, but it was a slow stop for Smith. But Austin Hill, the defending NASCAR Xfinity Series winner from the spring race in 2023, he won that race. Um, he won the race off pit road. Green flag flew on stage two, and Austin Hill and Riley Herbst ran side by side in the turn number one, and Austin Hill won the battle on the outside lane. Lap 56, Austin Hill, they have found out that they have trashed on the grill, debris, sort of on the grill. We, I didn't, I wasn't sure what it was, but there was a piece of trash on Austin Hill's car. And this is a great thing we need to touch on the wind, the amount of wind there was today at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. It was a very, very windy. It was also last night in the truck race. We saw a ton of wind at the track, and I guess trash kind of blew all to the track, and um. Surprisingly, there was no debris caution this entire race, but Austin Hill found a piece of trash on the grill, and then he lifts and hands the lead to John Hardimichek as he needs to clear his grill in the dirty air. Austin Hill had to give up the lead for that uh, dirty grill he had, but once he got it clear, he was able to sort of recover. We'll talk about him later. With five laps to go in stage two, Chandler Smith has caught the bumper of John Hardimichek in the battle for the lead. With one lap to go, Chandler Smith runs to the top in turn one. He has a runoff turn two, and he crosses under him off the corner. And Chandler Smith completes the pass on Nemechek in turn three. Chandler Smith won stage two at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. He has swept the first two stages here at Vegas, and a great move on the final lap to beat John Nemechek out for the victory. Top ten stage two was Chandler Smith in first, John Nemechek in second. Riley Herbst in 4th, Justin Allgaier in 4th, AJ Allmendinger in 5th, Austin Hill in 6th place, recover from that, Jesse Love in 7th, Parker Kligerman in 8th, Cole Custer in ninth, and Ryan Sieg in 10th place. Now it's time for the final stage of Las Vegas Mare Speedway for a 110 lap race from lap 91 to 200 out of 200 laps. Green flag flew on stage number 3, the final stage was underway. Chandler Smith and John Nemechek ran side by side in the turn number one. They fight for space, but John Nemechek side drafts him, then slides for the lead. On lap 110, Chandler Smith works under Nemechek, and Smith returns to the lead. On lap 123, Parker Retzlaff has stalled. Kloster came out for the second time today for Parker Retzlaff. Um, Chandler Smith leads the field to the pit lane, but John Hernemechek won the race to the pit exit. The green flag flew once again with John Hernemechek retaking the lead, but Smith holds on second place. With 20 laps to go, green flag pit stops are underway, and John Hernemechek cycles out ahead of Austin Hill. And Josh Williams, at one point, was the only card to yet pit as he's hoping for a caution. But unfortunately, I'll say this now, he did not happen. As with 10 laps to go, Josh Williams had to head for the pit lane as Nemechek now had led Austin Hill by 4 seconds. With 5 laps to go, Cole Custer has found speed on the top lane. And this is pretty interesting. As I was paying attention to Cole Custer, I was like, hey, he's got a ton of speed on that high lane. That's that's pretty interesting. I'm happy Cole Custer has speed on that high lane. That sounds pretty good. The pole winner. He won the pole today. Glad to see him making some progress. He found speed on the top lane. He drives by Chandler Smith for third and he crosses under Austin Hill to take second away. But Nemechek leads Custer by five seconds as Cole Custer was no match for John Nemechek. Five seconds behind him. And the Cup Series driver, the full-time Cup Series driver for the number 42 Legacy Motor Club, Toyota Camry. The driver who was probably the most consistent driver in the Xfinity Series last year. Or the driver had the most wins in the Xfinity last year. Drove full-time. He's still running part-time this year. John Hunter Nemechek, number 20, picked up victory number one of the Xfinity Series season at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. That was a lot of review. Um, John Hunter Nemechek, I'm happy for him. This is um his first win in the Xfinity Series in 2024 of what could be many. I feel like John Nemechek has a great shot at winning many more Xfinity races and all the Xfinity races he starts. He's starting, I believe, around half the schedule this year in Xfinity, which is pretty great, by the way. He's a full-time Cub driver in the 42. He drove the number 20 Joe Gibbs Racing Car full-time last year at Xfinity and pretty good result. Um, he was my championship pick. 
finished fourth in the standings after a kind of incident in the final lap at Phoenix kind of ultimately ruined his chances of winning a championship last year. But John Nemechek was starting to bounce back, and after just kind of a mix of the first two Super Speedway races um, this season for Xfinity, John Nemechek um, won at Las Vegas, the one-and-a-half-mile track, and that's great to see. He won the Layuna at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Let's take a look at the full race results from this race. John Nemechek in first. Cole Custer, really great run in the end. He had a ton of speed on that high line. That was really cool how we were going to see Cole Custer, a great driver, run that high line. Great job. Um, credit to Cole Custer there. Chandler Smith who led 74 laps in that race. He had a great, great car. He almost won this race last year, too, in the Xfinity Series in a Toyota in the Xfinity not in the Toyota, in a Chevrolet last year in the spring race at Las Vegas. Um, he had a pretty good race here in the spring last year. Uh, has a pretty good one in the spring this year. Maybe just show some momentum here for Mr. Chandler Smith. He does 74 laps, I, I, I believe, in um, one of my videos. Oh, no, that was a lead scene. Uh, never mind, but I might have said um, that um, Chandler Smith led 169 laps. He did not, my bad. Joga is racing as a whole. Led 169 laps tonight, which is pretty great to see. I'm happy that Toyota Yoga is racing has found success in the series. Uh, moving on, though, Austin Hill in fourth won the um, spring race here last year in 2023. Bradley Herbst, he won the 2023 fall race in Xfinity at Las Vegas um, in fifth. AJ Allmendinger, he's won at Vegas before in 2021 in sixth place. Ryan Sieg in seventh. Sammy Smith in eighth. Brandon Jones in ninth. Justin Allgaier, he was my pick to win in 10th place. Um, had a solid outing. I thought Justin Allgaier was going to get the victory. Just came up short. Parker Kuggerman in 11th. Eric Almirola made his first Xfinity start this year of what is expected to be many. Finished 12th in the number 19 JGR Toyota. Corey Heim made a race, his first Xfinity race of the season in a Sam Hunt Toyota. And got 13th. That's a great sight to see for... Corey Heim. I don't remember the OEM for Sam Hunt Racing, but still had a pretty good result for Corey Heim. Josh Williams, um, late in that race, looked hoping for a caution. He could come down pit road and be lucky. Unfortunately, that did not happen, and Josh Williams ended up 14th. Kind of unfortunate there. Haley Deegan, 15th. Um, this is her second top 15 at Las Vegas. He, her ex first Xfinity race she ever ran, I believe, was at Las Vegas, and um, she got a top 15, so Haley Dean might have something going for her at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Anthony Alfredo was 16th. Jesse Love had a great start to the season at Daytona in Atlanta. These past two weeks, 17th today. Leland Honeyman Jr. in 18th. Redden Bowen, 19th. Kyle Seagan, 20th. Kyle, Kyle Wetterman in 21st. Ryan Ellis in 22nd. Jeb Burton in 23rd. J.J. Yelly in 24th. Jeremy Clements in 25th. Sheldon Creed in 26th place. Nick Leitz in 27th, Patrick Emmerling in 28th, Garrett Smithley in 29th, Joey Gase in 30th, Blaine Perkins in, my bad, 31st, BJ McLeod in 32nd, CJ McLeod in 33rd, Austin Kramer in 34th, Parker Redstaff in 35th, Sage Carab in 36th, Shane Bear Gisberg in 37th, and last place in the, the fortunate way, Sam Bear finished last place at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. We unpacked a lot from the 2024 Lil Iuna 300 from the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. The 2024 NASCAR Xfinity Series Spring Race at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway has officially concluded. Congratulations to John Hernimacek, and hopefully he has the best of luck tomorrow in the NASCAR Cup Series race as the Peds Leo 400 from the 2024 NASCAR Cup Series Spring Race at Las Vegas is tomorrow on Fox at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 12.30 p.m. Western Time, I believe. Um... Interesting. I'll be watching that race. Um, cool, and that's going to be on Fox. Best of luck to Nemechek in the Cup race. Maybe he can get sort of a weekend sweep. Get two out of the three races he's um that has been held this weekend. Um, great job to many other drivers. Credits Austin Hill, Cole Custer, Chandler Smith, AJ Allmendinger, and others. Um, great credit to those drivers. They were pretty good. Riley Herbst especially too. Um, really, really great to see him. Happy those drivers are performing. Well, glad that um, drivers are performing well. Um, glad to see Xfinity and the Young Guns um, doing pretty well for themselves. I'm happy that they are. 
I'm happy that these young drivers, these young talented drivers, seem like they are going to be very, very um, good in Xfinity and their NASCAR career. Tomorrow is the NASCAR Cup Series race at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway, the first of two NASCAR Cup Series races at Las Vegas, and the NASCAR Xfinity Series will head to Las Vegas at the one and a half mile oval this fall. Uh, I believe that is on October 19th, Xfinity. In October 20th, it's the Cup Series race at Las Vegas. But we have to get through the spring race at Vegas first. A 267 lap, 400 mile NASCAR Cup race tomorrow. We'll be giving a race review on that in the evening time after that race. My pick to win that race is Kyle Larson. I almost forgot about him. Kyle Larson is my pick to win. Who's your pick to win? I would truly love to know. And I guess after 15 minutes, we are officially finished the 2024 Lil' Iuna Race review from the 2024 NASCAR Xfinity Series Spring Race at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. And uh, I guess that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. So you never miss another upload on my channel. Never give up on your dreams. Never stop driving your engine. And until next time, have a great one, y'all. Peace out, everyone.